What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Today, we're continuing on with the Valheim World Record speedrun grind. The official category that we're running today is Random Sea Glitchless New Game Old Bosses, which means you've got to create a new character and a new world that has to be on a random seed. And we have to kill all bosses as fast as possible. And we've got to do it using the glitchless rule set. And without looking up the map online. Um, you can find more information about the rule set at the link in the description. It's speedrun.com slash Valheim. Or you can get a link to that. I do an exclamation SRC in the chat. So we start out the run by disabling the tutorials. And we can skip that. I'll just log in out and log in back in again. Let's get this intro but um we can also use the flyover with the valkyrie at the start to gather some information so starting out we can do this print seed command um which lets us know if there's a dungeon nearby so now we instantly know that there's a black forest over there and then we can also look around for a nice big mountain that might be able to have modder on it well so Lorelei thanks for stopping by the stream I hope you're doing good thanks so look I appreciate it I'm doing great thanks for asking What's up, Beppo? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. It's going great, thank you. All right. So the timer starts when we start moving. What's up, Will? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, bud. I'm doing great, thank you. Hope you're doing good as well, bud. Thanks so much, Murdenator. I appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by the stream. You're having a good day, dude. Alright, so first things first, we want deer. Do you hear deer? So that's a good sign. What's up, one? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good, bud. got a one star right away which is interesting the one stars actually are not more useful at all for us in the run they're not more likely to drop a trophy it can actually be more of an issue because they have more hp but most of the time it doesn't make that much of a difference evening tim thanks for stopping by the stream hope you're doing good bud Ooh, we got a boar stone right next to spawn. For those little, these little stones here that tell you like a little bit of the lore and the story about the creatures in the game, the ones about boars. 
always have Vaughn spawn next to them. Sometimes it's actually a ton of boars. What's up, Patane? Thanks for stopping by the stream, bud. Hope you're doing good. What's up, Zom? Thanks for the look. I appreciate that, man. What's up, Matt? Thanks for the look. I appreciate that, dude. Even more ball luck. What's up, Discreet? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, buddy. Afternoon, Sean. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, dude. What's up, Mango? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good, dude. Cool, let's go for this one. Haven't seen me yet to get closer these brailings are a little bit annoying there we go trophy please thanks mango i appreciate that dude oh welcome discreet i hope you enjoy this the speed run attempt some free gold wood here which is kind of nice they was putting down a tree or something feel like i kept hearing yeah i do still hear deer and stuff but back towards the boss there we go no oh, don't do this to me trophy please hell yeah we got one that's good
What's up, Jonathan? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. What's up, Manon? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing good. Thanks for the luck, man, and I appreciate that, dude. Oh, yeah, that's pretty funny, Mango. Getting a tree spawn. Unbelievable. So unlucky. There's such a rare chance that he spawns in a tree. So that could cost us a little bit of time there. Although it will cost us a bit of time, but you can still do this on record pace though despite that oh we almost died to the tree Destroyed this fire, bro. I have to relog so I don't die. Right, we've still got a sub 10 minute peak there, which is still really good. So we can still play this run out. Just relog in to remove the fire effect. So I don't. Instantly die because we're one HP right now. All right. Um. Well, we're recovered from that situation, which is good. <laughs> that would be awesome, Mango. Thanks for the look, bro. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing good. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, now I want to head towards the Black Forest that we detected on the way in. Over here ish. I want to collect flint along the way. Oh, it's a sub 10 minute eat there. 
than that the time on the right is the actual split. The green time is how much time save it is. And if the time is red, it's how much time lost there is. So it's 9.29. Which is still good. Good enough anyway. Thanks for stopping by the stream though, Eric. I hope you're doing good, bud. is the case oh my god what is this making my, my pickaxes early because pickaxes are actually lighter than antler and also there's a lot of wood in the meadows and I want like about 60 woodish We can uh, recoup the wood that we used before we get to Black Forest. here as well it's looking really good we'll be able to have more than 10 before we even enter black forest which is really nice position to be in more than 10 leather I actually want to go this way. Although I'm glad I went around this bit. This is loads of flint. What's up, Mitch? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, bud. Good to see you as well.
Quite a, yeah, it's going to actually be faster to the sale, that. I don't quite have the resin yet. Oh, that's unlucky. kill this grayling if uh, <laughs> the sapling just won't drop one for us all right nice decent start for sure I actually see more boar again. It's kind of funny. Getting a lot. Usually a good sign of run where you get a lot of leather, really. Leather is definitely a potential hurdle sometimes. Was a weird issue. Because I had a workbench down already. So we actually only need four leather now. Which this actually changes a few things potentially. Not for sure, but potentially. And the reason I say that is it means that it's becoming likely that we won't necessarily need to find a troll cave with leather in it to get the leather we need now troll caves obviously aren't rare but sometimes you just get unlucky and you can't find them or you can't find the ones with leather in it anyway so it's, it's actually a good thing to not have to do it but it does also mean that 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 means we should also bear in mind the fact that we also you typically re re uh, rely on troll caves for bones so we should be acting as if we're not gonna end up looting a troll cave which means that we, we should be killing as many skeletons as we can Hi, what's up? Hey, Steve, thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, dude. The mansion. No rune, I assume. There is fine wood, though. really good it's actually not that common to be honest on a speed run to get wood like that uh, to get fine wood like that 
All right, there is a troll cave here though. And I see a seed over there as well. To the southwest. I guess that would be. Um. So many mobs. <clears throat> Let's see if we get leather and or bone. Oh my god, my dodging was off. We just got enough leather and enough bone to go all in on two wooden clubs, which is really cool to be able to do this early. It's actually insane to be able to make all the weapons this quick as well. So good. Awesome. Actually so stacked with loot for this early in the run, it's insane. Obviously, we need to find the elder and we need to find two more seeds. And we also know there's very little chambers around here. We te detected them on the way in. Six and fourteen, eleven. see a burial chamber we don't actually even need to bother killing skeletons we actually got so lucky with bones actually it doesn't matter <laughs> oh my god a two star and central what's up joe thanks for stopping by the stream hope you're doing good dude oh a spawn room this could have an elder rune hell yeah 
pretty close as well. Oh. All right, it might be worth killing these guys. In fact, we don't need to. We can just circle that. Sean. All right, let's do this. So far, it's been pretty clean. I see another troll cave randomly. This seed's been so good so far. Speaking of seed, I hear another one. I think it's over here, but it's hard to tell. Oggy! Anna, thanks so much for the raid. I hope you had a good stream and I hope you're having a nice day. Welcome Raiders. Hope everyone had a good time. What was the stream today? I hope everyone enjoyed themselves. Runs are going pretty good so far, thank you. Awesome. Only died three times. Nice. All good. Elder's actually, I mean, it's not like the closest Elder ever, but we did find him super early, so.
Does anyone still play vanilla arc or is it all just mods these days? Most people are on vanilla. Nice. I see only need one more fine wood already. Kind of nuts, chat. Oh, nice. Welcome to the stream, Cyborg. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing good, bud. Oh, it's one of those games I, I consider playing it. But I never really, I never really have played it like a, a lot. <clears throat> I got it when it came out and played it on and off a little bit, but I'm sure I would actually love it if I put the time in. What's up, Rizness? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. I play Modi, but it's just quality of life stuff. Interesting. Been doing vanilla all along until this week. Finally enabled dev commands under my worlds. You want to get the creative build that nice. Um Looks like we're gonna have to sail. Um we don't have the wind unfortunately. Kind of annoying that we're having to paddle, but it'll still be good. It's pretty close. Got a little bit of wind now. Yeah, we look down to avoid aggroing serpents. If a serpent spawns nearby, unless it spawns right on top of us, it'll only aggro if it enters our line of sight. What's up, Dazzle? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing good. It does aggro by proximity as well, like if it's really close, but if it's far away, it won't aggro unless you look at it. I think I, exp I show an actual example of one spawning and not aggroing from doing that in my uh, Valheim Speedrun Explained video. You can get a link to by doing Explanation Explain or clicking the link in the description. Is there a speedrun for Ark Evolved? I don't actually know. I don't think so. I feel like that's something I would have checked. 
I'm not sure. I don't remember. I went for a brief period in time and considering learning to speedrun like lots of survival games. I do speedrun with the game with random seed, yeah. That's the category I'm running right now. No. We're just gonna place lots of fires and do a lot of dodging for the elder fight. Yeah, I didn't think there was. Just said I'm, I'm pretty sure I checked, but it was a while ago. I just realized times when I can cook food with no time loss, that's all. I'm still not stopping to cook food. Just if I'm generally if I'm gonna like build something or destroy something. I have stuff to cook, I will. Whilst doing that. at this point this troll cave is gonna be quite close the boss fight so is that troll though A little bit concerned. But that troll might go for the bed. Three mango. Thing is, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play it out regardless because so much time was to go for the troll anyway. Is gonna potentially ruin the fight. I'm trying to keep him away from the fires. Don't want him to destroy the fires. Almost one cycle elder is nuts. With a troll. <laughs> Hmm. 
No, the trolls pushing the elder off the fire. <laughs> oh my god. Standard Valheim troll living up to its name. Yeah, the troll keeps pushing the, the elder off. Fires, this is kind of funny. No, I think we got it though. Hell yeah. There we go, world record pace. That was an absolutely incredible. Elder fight for one that was absolutely stacked with mobs. We kept that up pretty good considering we're surrounded the whole time. Go. Oh, I think we're just getting a lucky Joe. All right. We need 25 minutes of time save compared to my PB. Get world record. And we're almost 40 minutes ahead of my PB right now. Oh, I see a swamp already as well. That means I'm gonna wanna go for wood as soon as possible. So I'm gonna fix my Axe real quick. We can also get our last piece of fine wood, which is nutty. arrows yet oh. <laughs> never mind everyone pray to bone mask gods to spawn at it here through This looks kind of strange. Is the wrong type of spawner. It's also a tiny swamp. Gonna sail over there. I'm just trying to get to a, like a safe place to depart from. Oh. 
That's annoying. Oh, the wind's changing. Let's go. Right. Should be good now. Hopefully this swamp is good. I think so, Joe. Though it's a little bit random, obviously. Oh, that's pretty annoying. We don't have any arrows to deal with these guys. The thing is, we'll easily be able to get the mats back to make another one. So if we have to swim a bit, we have to swim a bit. We also still might make it anyway. This is the situation where having a low HP boat is a bit precarious when you don't have arrows and you head into a swamp. He is determined. Does the show how slow the raft is? True. Another troll versus abomination today? I hope so. That was awesome. He's losing hope. But he's got a sub. I don't know why the AI hasn't bitten us again. Oh, he went away. Okay, and the other one's coming now. Like your boat is an egg, true. They just constantly keep turning around and going back. That's kind of what leeches tend to do. I'm gonna get bitten by a load on the way in now, but that's okay. It actually might be faster. We get the leather too. Oh, yeah, perfect. Clean. I wasn't worried. Um, any crypts? Yes, there is a crypt. Oh, yeah. No, there isn't. <laughs> well, I don't think that one's going to have a bone mass rune on either because it's actually underwater. Oh, God. It's a big swampy mess, this area. There are lots of little scuffed pieces of swamp. And I'm going to get Wraith on the way. I can feel it. Oh, there's a crypt there, though. What? How did he poison me there? He's hacking. And <laughs> we got poisoned when the blob was literally in the, like, <laughs> under the surface of the water. Yeah, these blobs are just trying to hail a taxi. We got to turn the light off. Thanks, blue guy. It is definitely a good run so far. It's actually kind of nuts where we are for sub one hour.
Go, 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 go. We do need to charge these blobs. Oh my days. I'm going to break the boat though. This is the problem. <laughs> I'm going to sink my own boat trying to kill these blobs. Catching an Uber raft. True. Alright, well, we're super lucky that we got a crypt, so just have to full commit to it. Oh my god. Stronger central over there, too. Try and turn away. I can see at least one is an archer. We could head to Black Forest. I can't tell what that guy is. I'm guessing he's not an archer. Bro. Jump. Oh, fuck. We should be able to get around this. I mean, it's not a great situation, but... I think what I actually want to do... Alright, this is shallow. You can still walk in this. Ow. We need these mats. And we didn't get them. God, that's a... Oh. The Wraith has seen us, right? Oh, God. N shit, no! We had the same fucking thing where I tried to press escape and it brought up Task manager again. I need to disable that Windows shortcut. Yeah, one HP. That fucking Windows shortcut almost gets me killed so often. I really do need to disable that. Found some red edit or something at some point. Right, hopefully. We can uh, get some resting on the go for long enough to recoup some HP. And then just go, uh, fuck. Right, now we just have to hope that we don't get archers in here the next thing we have to hope for because we've actually got open rooms unfortunately all right we're getting yeah we're getting some healing Well, it's just not likely that we managed to put a bed down before we get archered. We're getting archered here as well. Uh... 
Alright, cool. All good. What's up? Hello again. Next time on the stream, hope you're doing good, dude. Really? Right, what we actually want is for them to stay in sync in this scenario. Right, oh my god, we're getting so screwed by the fact that there's no scrap piles in the way. Probably going to have to, yeah, open crypts are just. Oh, it's a blob here as well. We might be able to like find a room somewhere we can stand. Pronunciation of my name is extremely good. Really? Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. It is getting insane, this run. Oh, we were actually resting to actually heal, not to get the rested buff, so it's all good. There's no... Like, what I'm looking for is somewhere I can actually stand where not every mob can reach me. Nope, this isn't it. I can't think that will hit me, won't it? We're just going to have to use the entrance. I don't think there's a better spot. And we're just going to have to kill Draugas as they spawn in until they're not. All arches, I guess. I don't know. Nah, I'm stuck. So we got every entrances open and none of them have like the high points in the corners got to just commit to this crypt as well so i need to figure this out this is the only crypt the only crypt we can see anyway maybe it isn't the only crypt Stupid. Right. At least they're all. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna say at least they're all on that side now.
We might be able to gradually work our way through this. I just have to be patient. The main thing is to actually get rid of the corpse piles because then everything else is just a gradual process of elimination. Let this fall damage or something, or just poison. It's it's so low though that that corpse pile now. Morning, Angela. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Didn't know he was standing there. Basically, it's the worst act, like scenario you can have at, at the start of a crypt is just like all. Help with this reset? No, there we go. so low now i think this is just what we do once they are dead yeah i don't even know i don't even really think about it matt just something to do when I'm concentrating, I think. Oh, I went the wrong way again. Cool. Once this one is dead. I don't think we've aggroed anything from the middle one yet so it should be able to just clear out everything from the entrance once this is done
We're actually getting there. I don't want to go too into that room because I don't want to cause anything new to spawn in. Chat finally. Some arrows as well. Where does he have gotten six? With the bones in this process, so we've actually been making good progress. Or in this chaos, which is nice. Oh man, what a hurdle when there's just like no scrap piles up at the entrance. So you can't just take the rooms on one at a time. <laughs> Room it. <laughs> Just gonna have to. with this basically what's up see wait thanks for about the stream i hope you're doing good bud God, they're getting cozy. Hell yeah. I'll just leave them be. Don't want to disturb them. Be rude. 
Don't mind me, guys. It's beautiful Drogo. Look, who am I to go in the way? Honestly, kind of hard to tell if I the either of these things have something behind them, but I don't think they do. Nah, that's a yellow mushroom. Same goes there. Uh. It would be so good if we find bone mass room in this crypt. That's exactly how you want it to happen. It's like quickly get to a swamp. That swamp has a... Whoa! No! No, I was out of stamina so I couldn't dodge. That swamp has a crypt and then in that crypt you get everything you need. That's like what, how you want it to go. Classic. Oh. Looks like I'm just getting ambushed by the archer guy. I think we're gonna have to use arrows. Still here, a corpse pile. We stack for arrows for modder. Oh, do I see a little bit of glowing red in this next room? Blobs are seem to have like a, a, no collision, like no hitbox when they're in the air or something. But we obviously do not. We, we are very vulnerable in the air. Uh, come on, show yourself. Oh my god. Right, there's still. There is 100% a room that. Yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of pointless going from there. Let's go this way. Oh, 
Nope. Is that a dead end there? I think it's hard to tell. I think. I think it is a dead end. Yeah, this is world record pace. Again. I've had this exact pace like a million times to feel like. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely a good pace. Definitely will work up pace. No rune in there though, unfortunately, chat. A huge downer. But not the end. By any means. So good, dude. You're right. It is an insane pace. Extremely rare even, I would say. But <laughs> been grinding for a record for ages and uh, we get on pace for it quite often now. Need the stars to align a little bit. It's actually good, all the arrows that we got there. There's actually a planes here uh, as well, chat. So, you know, this is an awesome pace. Just because we didn't find bone mass there doesn't mean it can't be the run. We could find bone mass directly, yeah, uh, or we could, like, you never know, like, if we just find a different boss around the pace, my third split can still do it, still get record. Got a hard spawn totem. Might have another totem even right next to it. Of course. Might have been able to avoid the Dusky Tower. Why wasn't a man in through all the mud piles? We mined through all the mud piles that had a room at the other side of the mate. You can tell by looking at the structure of the stone doorways. Whether it's going to be a dead end or not. Oh, don't tell me there's actually no other totem. Oh, we've got a Stonehenge, I think, now. Potentially. Aggro. Some of these growths. Get him. Whoa! To attack the fuelings. 
I relogged so, so that I could fill my stamina up before I got attacked. Uh, this planes is trolling me. Yeah, otherwise I would have died because I wouldn't have had the stamina to fire my bow. Berserk is still coming. It's nuts. No totem there, unfortunate. Anyone that's brand new to Valheim speedrunning, I always recommend that you watch my Valheim speedrun FAQ video. So you can get a link to by doing exclamation FAQ. And the Valheim speedrun explain video, which you can get a link to by doing exclamation explain, or they're both in the description. The FAQ video answers the top five most frequently asked questions I get about Valheim speedrunning. And the explain video sort of explains the route and general straps. It's kind of an interesting situation, chat. I definitely would have preferred. To have found bone mass, but not bad to be collecting stuff we need the eggs necessarily. another swamp be back on track for a good bone mass potentially if this swamp's decent wait what don't tell me it's like another tiny little one <laughs> guys we hit 5,000 subs yesterday on youtube so thanks so much to everyone that subscribed to the YouTube channel. I'm really happy everyone is enjoying the content. Enough to want us up to the channel. And hopefully this is just the beginning. 
I have lots and lots of projects in the in the works. And everyone's support has inspires me to do more. Make better content. Keep working that hardest. So I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Epic. Foggy, Matt, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. You're legend, dude. Matt, thanks for the five bucks super chat. Keeping the stream alive. You're a legend. True. Thanks for doing my job for me. Now I don't have to thank you. You did it. You made the text to speech do it for me. <laughs> Thanks for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive, bud. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for the $5 super chat. Roy, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Right, we not got another crypt. Thanks so much for helping keep the dream alive, Roy. Appreciate that, bud. you legend. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for the sub on YouTube, you can appreciate that, bud. Optimize super chat, true. Super chat percent. Oh my god, bro. Alright, we're doing this, I guess. Oh, why is it block? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's another one. We need more rocks. Or we need bonfire mat. Wait, it's kind of the same swamp. Not the easiest way to get rid of them. And the, the other one is just getting scared. The fires don't last very long in the rain. We don't have a lot of fires. Oh, now we've just... Blown through our wood though. Should still have enough to put a bed though. Just. But I'll take it. Oh god, we almost fell through the world. <laughs> Do you remember when you used to be able to fall through the world at the edge of Crypt? I know, right? It's funny, Joe. It's always typical with speedrunning. All the stuff that's a nightmare that you want to find in a survival run that you don't want to find in in speedruns, it's always easy. <laughs> it's always easy to find them. You don't want it to happen. Okay. Boggy, Supervised Chaos, thank you so much for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive, dude. Thank you so much for the $20 super chat. You're absolute legend. That's very generous. Thank you. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for stopping by the stream. How's the run going? It's going well, thank you. We'll back up pace as long as we get a bone master location soon. Thanks so much, Supervised Chaos. Really appreciate that, bud. Thank you. What's up, Cooler Rest? 
Oh, we got one, Poggy. Just got in. How's the run going? Going good, bud. Thank you. What's up, Cooler Rest? Thanks for stopping by the stream, dude. Hope you're having a good day. Ooh. That's workable. Definitely workable. Yeah, the, the character models for, in uh, Valheim are, are actually amazing. There's actually so much more detail than you realize. Just because it's sort of like a low polyish kind of style. Sometimes you kind of don't like just it's almost like your eyes just assume there's less detail than there really is sometimes. When you look closely, I love all the little details. So cool. Uh I think we sail to that island maybe and then try and See if we can run towards bone mass. Uh, so we recovered it. This was a completely insane pace run. And then it started to get a little bit shaky. But then we just got a totem. And it's actually looking really good on the whole now. That's right, get wrecked. We haven't killed Bone Mass yet, we just found this location. There he is. Thanks again so much, Chaos. I really appreciate that, bud. Very generous, thank you. Who's the star? I was thinking, like, I don't know if we should want to check that mountain or not. I see it looks all right. Could be worth it, you know. Finding another boss before we do the next one. I mean, it's not something I recommend going out of your way to do. But if you can do it en route with no time loss, it's the absolute best way to sort of be leapfrogging bosses. What's up, Yodel? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good. The run's going great, thanks. Should be world record pace, I think. Close to it. Oh, thanks, Chaos. I appreciate that. I consider that a big compliment. Thanks, dude. Honestly, I used to feel the same way about speedruns until I found just the right content creators and the right speedruns for me. And now I love speedrunning. But I felt the same way for years. Mango, thank you so much for the £2 super chat. You legend, dude. Thanks for supporting the content to help me keep the dream alive. £2 or five chicken balls? Who knows? What? <laughs> £2 or five chicken balls? Who knows, man shrugging? Uh, yes. That's my answer. Thanks for supporting the content, Mango. Appreciate that, dude. Thanks so much. It's 
for helping keep the dream alive, guys. <laughs> I can't see. Ah, oh, the crude bow, man. I mean, puking will just reset. All it does is reset. So it'll allow you to get more, like more HP total. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that is amazing, Mango. It says for context, I got undercharged for my Chinese by two pounds, but also got less chicken balls. So he makes sense now. <laughs> Definitely does make sense now. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, dude. Hope you enjoy the Chinese food. Um, do I full commit? I feel like this is a don't full commit scenario. Boca, thank you so much. You let Shout out dude. to the endless deer sacrificed for WR. True. Thank you so much for the 20 knock. Thanks for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive. Really appreciate that, dude. You're having a good day. So much. You're going to dream alive. Imagine if we get a model location off this mountain as well, chat. It would be so good if that happened. Augie, Austin, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. You legend. Thanks so much. Supporting the content. Helping keep the dream alive. You legend, dude. You got a crazy donation train going right now. Thanks so much, Austin. Five bucks for 5k subs. Hell yeah. Thanks so much for supporting the content and helping keep the dream alive, dude. I really appreciate that. Thanks for the five dollars, Austin. I hope you're having a great day, bud. Oh, we got a rune. Let's go. Just don't die. Oh yeah. I hope you're having a great day, Austin. Thanks, bud. Appreciate that. Oh shit. She's here. Now, of course, I wish I full committed. 
We actually almost walked straight past her. Clever girl. How the fuck are we going to do this, though? Uh, we need wood. This is amazing. It is complicated, though. <laughs> yeah, because we don't have bonfire mats yet. We can do it without. It's just going to require some mats. And we need to collect. Uh, what are we at? 30. We'll get plenty of rocks up there. I don't know if it's like I was considering aggro and that locks to get some wood for us, but it's probably not worth it. But we'll just destroy our bed. <laughs> I appreciate that, Steve O. Should probably also There's actually a few things that are worth doing thinking about it. I don't remember now we don't have that much stuff, do we? Hammers. We got to go with campfire straps. Now, we'll end up with a lot of stone. Just from hacking away at the ground. We'll not necessarily end up with a lot of wood, though. This could be huge, chat. This is definitely world record pace right now. We just got to make sure there's enough eggs and stay focused. Looks like there's plenty of wood around. Got some good arrows. It's a lot easier to do modder with the bonfire. But we can do it with the campfire. Why is that Desquito being so sus? <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I forgot about my meat. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the timing of this does keep on turning around. good it's not essential meat anyway that desquito distracted me and then it freaking shows up the one time i turn around um I think we get like about 50 ish. Oh god, he's doing it again, dude. I, he's miles away and then I don't see him because he's behind the tree. Come on, Deskito. to be better going kind of to the right there a bit I 
All right, let's do this. True mango. Um. There's a wolf literally just chilling halfway up that hill there on the right. I don't want to head that way. It seemed very flat, pretty close to this. No, oh, how the fuck did that happen? Okay. Have to relog now. Now our corpse run is over, we just reload to refill stamina. It's not quite as smooth because we don't have Ekthir anymore. Which is the reason to full commit. The only reason I didn't full commit to this mountain though is just... I really didn't think she would be here. <laughs> Golland. So, um, well, let me go this way. I want to get like the rocks from this as well. And I kind of also want a little spot where we're going to place campfires to be on a more open side. I'm not actually getting as much stone from this as I thought I would, but it's because we're not really getting hitting any rocks isn't it but it should be good still yeah something like that and then I want to like have a bit more of an opening that's actually Very good. Yeah, like that. Okay. No, we found a rune. All right. So, um, let's 
let's draw everything here. That we actually need. Um, right, and then let's do like this, this, this. We just gotta hope that we get enough eggs on this mountain. So we've not seen any yet, I don't think. This if if we actually get this modder done in a reasonable amount of time, this could be one of the craziest runs ever. Well, that goes without saying. Because <laughs> it's world record base, so obviously it would be. Um Kind of a dumb thing to say. Any eggs? Okay, I said eggs, not golems. Ooh. Yikes. Well, this is where we went to get the rune, isn't it? I think I see an egg, actually. It's kind of far, but... got to go for it. Don't really have much of a choice. A lot of golems around. I'm purposely aggroing them, though, at this point. Because they do really help deal with mobs. Whoa! Golem, please get the wolf, please, Golem. Alright. <laughs> Found one egg anyway. What's up, Terry? Thanks for the look. I appreciate that, bud. Oh, no. I didn't see it. I realized it's still right on my tail. Thanks, Keeper. I appreciate that. Thanks. Ella Sen? Sorry, I don't know. I, I can't say your name, bro. I'm sorry. But I'm glad. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hope you're having a nice day. Uh, restream Shafiq. Like, please. True, Jesus. Imagine not spamming the like on the YouTube stream. <laughs> um. I'll be happy if we can get this in this life. Oh my god.
I hear the wolf, but I don't see him. There's a pretty good trick. When you have no stamina and you're about to get a corpse run from a tombstone, if you relog beforehand, you're doing it with max stamina. Therefore, it'd be easier to get away. Because of the stamina reduction you also get from the corpse run. What's up, Aaron? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. Okay. We might as well use this corpse. That's funny, Mango. All right, two more eggs. Please, game. Please let there be two more eggs on this mountain. Could be. We obviously don't know for sure yet. Ooh. Another egg, yes. Let's freaking go. Uh, ah. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. Some new value and I appreciate that, bud. Hope you're doing good. Oh, God. Hell yeah. What's up, Mobius? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. I'm doing great, thank you. Thanks for asking. Really care if I die now, we're just using this life as a bit of a explorer save, let's say. Doesn't look like that way is the play. I think maybe further in the other direction could be the play. That we just got the last egg.
Come on. Praise our own Jesus for the egos. Play to the, the egg gods, Jack. I like the eggs in the chat. Alright, all I want to see is eggs in the chat. For, for like the next 30 seconds. We have to summon. Summon the last egg. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever eggs you have at your disposal, you have at your disposal. Okay, so this is where he was before. Hell yeah, chat. It's working. I can feel it. We're gonna find an egg. Maybe we just have to get over this hill or something. <laughs> they respawn, I a, believe. A well, people say they respawn. I've never actually seen it, but I, I know that the respawn time that people say is actually really long, so. It's not viable in a speedrun. It's funny, Aaron. Oh, it's not going to be an egg there. Whoa. Yeah, okay. So maybe we can use this. High point to look around. It doesn't really does not look like we're gonna see eggs over here, does it? Unless there is one over that ridge. have an eek there right now that's about to be available that is definitely going to be worth us using and hopefully that's the last hell mary we need find eggs Oh, I see something all the way over there. Is that possibly the one that we've gotten before? It might be, right? I think it is. You know what, though? It is, but could be more 
around here. The cave, which... I mean, I wish it would have eggs in it. <laughs> they can't. Oh god, it's not looking good. I feel like we're doing a good job of searching this mountain. out of options I kind of feel like we've pretty much been everywhere except for like under a few ridges and stuff Does it? It'd be so unlucky to lose a run to not having three eggs. Yeah, there has to be one somewhere. It's just a matter of whether we can actually find it and get to it with our current setup, I guess. It's possible there isn't, but it's not likely. This is a follow on Twitch. Abinado, I appreciate that. Doing good, dude. Is. 
Drake just flying around right there. Why do I feel like there's an egg in this rock or something? Oh, there's an egg there! Holy shit. It's possible all of a sudden. That's the last egg, yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. It worked, chat. The egg summoning ritual worked. Good job, guys. How far away are we? Not... I know, the distance doesn't appear to be what the problem's going to be. The height, isn't it? Alright. On the way up as well, we should... Uh, just delete some of these excess death markers so that we don't get confused. Very interesting how this is unfolding, chat, because I think we should be able to have massive time save on a fourth split at this rate. This next split will fall behind a little, probably, but not too crazy. But the split after that... It's going to be huge. Then it's just Yag. We already have Bone Mass on the map. And the Bones are summoning. This is the run with the most world record potential that I've seen. Since the last world record was set. This is it. Exactly, Mango. Yeah, we're going to make sure we get the totems and stuff. We actually have one totem as well. Morning, Dunkle. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. I'm great, thanks, dude. Thanks for asking. Yeah, we know where Bone Mass is. He's and he's actually pretty close. It's just Yag that we don't know. That little Bone Mass is there. Relog so we have max stamina for the corpse run.
What? <laughs> the fuck? Whoa. Relax, pal. the hell is she? Oh, she's stuck up there. There we go. That's what we want to see. Perfect. This is absolutely perfect setup that we could actually have asked for. We're doing campfire strats. so good basically we always want to see uh wings of bubbles like that we want to use all poison arrows as much as we can as well Kind of, yeah. There we go. Yeah, you kind of got to do what you got to do if you just, especially if you don't have a bonfire. It is, it, it is a full strap.
That is more like what you actually want right there. Because at that angle then. He keeps kind of... He can't make a mind up. Just annoying, but we've got good arrows, so... It's gonna take like a little longer than I wanted it to take because we could have actually done with oh we've got we did actually end up getting more fire I would have liked to have more rocks for this get it to properly get the right angle to stay on the fires like we will do insane damage It's going pretty good though, I will say. Definitely. Maybe it might not be a completely flawless, but considering this is a lot of improv, there's no how we plan to do it. It's going very well. considering taking further around this way it does mean that she'll be boss three yeah fire more there. Oh, we lost the fire though. Be careful of that. No, my fear. Hopefully it's going to come back. Right, we got it back. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wait, how did I not end up? Oops. Right now, we should be able to really crank the DPS up. I wish the golem was going with the assist. That would be nice. I think she's just landed somewhere random. This is it. This is the insane DPS. This is why we wanted more rocks. But we collected them. From all the stuff Modder destroyed above us, so... Now... We're cooking. Literally. And Dragon is on the menu. Hope you're hungry, chat. So like, if she can't see us, right, the way this little thing with the roof works, that like she'll fly above you if you can't, she can't see you. why I keep hiding myself. Oh, I think <laughs> I threw my spear to oblivion there. Let's just forget the spear for now. Huge chat. It's actually huge. GG. Plus six minutes. That's compared to my bone mass time, though. So that's actually completely nuts. Hell yeah. And we know where bone mass is. This is about to be the craziest world record pace ever, chat. Literally, no, no exaggeration. We already have bone mass and everything we need to do bone mass. Right, we just did our modders. Six minutes. 
behind how long it took us to do our bone mass. You need to beware that we have no arrows. We can make arrows. Shit, dude. Relog. I should make cook dragon a food. I'd like that. It's for res or something on top of a large amount of life. True. Or fire resistance, maybe you meant. Yeah. I need to concentrate a bit here. Bit of a tough situation. I don't know if this stealth's going to be enough to get away from this Death Eater. Maybe it was. Yeah, it's all going to come down to your gloss. Sounds like was that shit that's heat or like mega close. Nice to get the yag rune. We need like a lot of wood for both yag and bone mass. So I have to just get it whilst I can because obviously we're in planes right now and then we'll be going to a swamp. We don't know if we're going to get more opportunities than this. Oh, yeah, also. Fucking hearing Death Eaters everywhere, dude. We should uh, make some arrows so we don't have to time the spears like that because it's way sketchier timing spears than it is timing arrows. Alright. They are enough, but you just have the uh, bigger draw. They work, but you almost have to be at full draw. But it's like over hours, you actually don't. Good enough, though. Thanks, Seaway. I appreciate that, bud. Thanks for the follow on Twitch, Maconia. Appreciate that. Oh. My God, there's deskitos everywhere.
We should just kill everything here. <laughs> Real quick. Oh my god, look at that. Because we can do this. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. Skyrim Drifter, appreciate that. Yeah, having a good day, dude. Actually, it's just so stacked with stuff, it's kind of nuts. Oh, did I not pick up that flint? It does, it's not going to be a deal breaker. I'm not sorry, actually, so I'm not going for it. Screw it. I'm not thinking about extra armor. This run's too good. Hell yeah, this is exactly the kind of thing we need to see. Oh, yep, yeah, we got a totem. Very nice. We should bait this guy. Oh, what a fucking troll dead skeet, though. Um. Well, they actually have to swim over here, which is kind of a funny situation. It might be worth aggroing them. Early. Not really working. I don't have the patience. YOLO. Why? Oh, no. Wait. No. What, what's actually got... It was an octo collecting. Why? I thought, oh, it's because of my inventory, but it isn't. I don't know what that was about. Yeah, it wasn't though, and I, I actually had a, I have a totem in my, in my inventory. It has to be range, but it was just really close. It just didn't it didn't want to come did it so it's actually kind of interesting about stuff like that in valheim that it's actually a really nutty maybe it's just really heavy that must be it like um you know like how that all the items actually have physics when you drop them i always think how that's such a crazy thing it seems highly unnecessary <laughs> But sometimes, you know, something can just like fall in a slightly different direction or something and doesn't quite go how you want it. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Uh... Going to end up aggroing every enemy in the box here. Oh, 
Holy shit. There's another that's Eto. I didn't even see the one I ended up shooting until the last second. This run is just... Gonna stay focused. And just play out of our minds. That's the solution. We got a hard spawn Toto. Fuck yeah. I think we just lost a lot of meat somehow. But whatever. We maybe actually left some items there, but by the looks of it. What's up, Clara? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. far into the song did I get last night? I don't remember. I never really remember much about any failed runs. There's so many of them, it's hard to tell them apart. Um... Literally no win. Gonna kind of want to deal with this guy. This way. Oh. He just doesn't want to. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get the dodge in there. It's better than letting this guy live and uh, him killing us when we're at sea. Thanks for the look, Demi. I appreciate that. Now nah, we're close. It's all good. Well, we could just leave him trapped, but I mean, it, we have to get the wood anyway. We'd have to get the wood back anyway, so it's like swings and roundabouts, really.
Did did uh no please stay away. A lot of weird situations like this where you can just risk it and sail away. <laughs> Fuck! I didn't see it at all. Get the shit out of me. Right, I need to concentrate. Enough talking. Get out of this goddamn planes. The jump scare, I know, right? Trying to resist talking to chat. We get out of this. Thanks, Doc. So I appreciate that, bud. Failed already. I can't not talk to chat. <laughs> Really, dude. That's like officially now like the third Death Skeeto to be in that exact spot. Every chat message spawns the Death Skeeto. True. Thanks a lot, Like, so I appreciate that, bud. Locks meat's good. It was better for the speedrun before you needed the iron cooking station. I think it was somewhere in the ballpark of 14 hours. Beginning of this category. get the Deskito to attack those guys. been lots of big and small optimizations most of it just comes from me not stopping speedrunning the game for like a year pretty much
This can definitely be world record, yeah. All right. Pretty annoying that we just got a thunderstorm. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. Lord Satu, I appreciate that. We're actually at the three hour mark of the stream. Three hour mark is actually usually when I remind people the ways that they can support the content financially because it is the financial support of our community that allows me to put so much time and effort into all the speedrun streams and videos for you guys. If you would like to support the content financially and help keep the dream alive and we've been able to continue to make content for you guys, and the best way for you to do that is actually on Patreon at patreon.com slash nickrawcliffe. Patreon allows you to do a monthly donation, sort of like a Twitch sub. As such, you can do it for any amount of money, even as little as $1. How it works is, for example, if you were to subscribe at the $1 level right now, you'll donate $1 to me right now. Then you'll be donating $1 a month on the first of every month from then onwards until you cancel your subscription you can cancel it at any time anyone that becomes a patron also gets invited to join a private valheim server that i pay for that runs 24 7 and you get to play on there whenever you want with the rest of the community and you also get invited to play valheim with me live on stream when we do server streams there is a link in the description to the patreon or you can do exclamation patreon in the chat for the link the second best way that you can support the content is by doing donations donations are the best way for you to do a one-off contribution because your money goes the furthest. You can get a link to the donation page by doing exclamation donate in the chat or by clicking the link in the description. And last but not least, you can support the content financially over on YouTube by doing super chats during the live streams or by doing super thanks below any videos or you can click the join button below the stream to become a YouTube member and members get access to monthly exclusive behind the scenes videos. What the hell? <laughs> don't forget to join the discord as well it's number one best way to make sure you don't miss any live streams or videos there's an invite in the description to that or you can do estimation discord in the chat for the link and i do stream on twitch and youtube at the same time So if you're watching on YouTube, you'd rather be watching on Twitch. You can do so at the link in the description or by doing an exclamation Twitch in the chat. And if you would like to support the content for free, the best way to do that is to smash the like on the YouTube stream and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It makes it more likely for the content to be recommended to new people. And if you want to do that on your own Twitch, just do it as on YouTube in the chat. Head over, click the buttons, then you can just go back to watching on Twitch. So it was super random, tiny little island. <laughs> that was, yeah, it's always weird when that happens. Thanks for the follow on Twitch, Void. I appreciate that, bud. bed down before we head in. How does it feel to hit 5,000 subs?
Uh, it's kind of trippy to even think about it. I honestly don't think about it. <laughs> it's awesome. I do think about it a little bit in the sense that it's awesome. But every day is a gift and a trip for me doing content creation because I just did it for years to nobody. Uh, I don't think there's a way to do crypto on Patreon. There might be a way to do crypto on at the donate uh, crypto at the donation link. But it's funny you should ask about that because I used to have a way to donate via crypto years ago. And I think it just stopped working. So that is something that I actually have been thinking about recently. It might be if you if you're interested in that, see what happens when you click the donation link if there's any kind of option for crypto. They used to be at the donation link, but I think they changed it. Annoyingly. Um But yeah, like it's something I'm, uh, that I'm going to do um, soon, regardless. Like, for people, for crypto people, like, do you think I should just put my wallet in the description? Or, like, is that enough for you guys? You know what I mean? Alright, thanks, dude. Yeah, like, I think they removed it. I definitely went through the whole process to be able to donate via crypto some years back, but I think it got removed for whatever reason by the provider. Just a wallet. I send that on other channels. Yeah, I guess I'll just do that. It keeps it simple. There is just a straight up PayPal link as well. People that prefer that because I've been asked about that. That is in the description on YouTube. But I think I do need to do the same thing with crypto. I appreciate that, Pete. Glad you enjoy the content, bud. We're going to go with the new cross setup again, so I want as much wood as possible. If we go for those two logs, we'll be pretty stacked. Ah, <laughs> there's an archer over there. Of course. You know what? We need to consider searching these crypts for ancient bark before we leave this as well. Yikes, this is gonna get sketched. I can feel it in my bones. Oh my god, what? Is that a goddamn raid? No, it's not. It's Sirtlings, isn't it? For Gucci.
can't see where the archer is now. Too exposed, eh? You're freaking too exposed. How about that game? Spence has been an asshole, I swear. Whoop! Don't die, please. That's not... I think we have to die. If I reload there, he might not spawn in. You need to, you would need to do that five times though, don't call, so it's not really worth it. It never stops raining in the swamp. Yeah, we technically don't have to put that fire there every time. But... Obviously, we're also not usually, we're not supposed to actually die, so like it would be a benefit for it to it usually. This guy's actually just shooting over the top to hit the bed. Fuck off, dude. do get rested but only where it's actually faster
fucking archer, dude. What happened there? Oh yeah, it might have just been low enough for him to wipe it. It will have been. It will have been. There's not, you can't build much further down than this without him being able to hit it. Alright, pretty good, pretty good. We definitely lost some time dying a lot in the planes there, but... Recordable for sure. Gonna flip and find Yak. No, we don't know where Yak is yet. But we did an NPB either. And lots of world records end up the same way as well. I don't know about dev commands. I started playing this game yesterday.
That's why I'm just going for record, even though I just started playing the game. It's just that easy, mate. big fan of this setup. I do definitely think it makes a more consistent bone mass fight. For sure. Like it's actually kind of amazing with this setup. Like when we stop getting hit, how quickly we recover. It's not longer to build. I don't think. Like it's more build pieces, but it's actually way simpler. So I actually think it's with some practice could be faster to build. Before we just had a sticky out platform and the bed was on top of the skull, basically. We had just like a, the two, a two platform thing sticking out and then the bed was on the skull. Well, like this cross shape, first of all, with the roof, we can put the bed on it, which means we don't get wet, which before we we're dealing with wet by having a fire nearby and a roof over us but anyway one of the biggest things like this cross cross shape just seems to be like way better for baiting bone mass into the right spot thanks a lot for the follow on twitch sorry dc can record this we just have what we're just gonna have to get super lucky with the bluff location well that this setup the main thing is just that it seems much much more consistent that's really the main thing um and consistency is a big deal. never got archers <laughs> but, and that's just a dream um oh we got the map bug so good though right, i think that's everything we need Whoa. right oh we've got an abomination okay right no we've got an abomination there let's use it because we, we could do with a fast way of getting Ancient bark. We 
because it'll greatly improve the speed of the Yag fight. Abominations are so useless of AI. Oh, <laughs> we just legit got bonked on their head. <laughs> that was actually hilarious. That was such a classic bonk. Oh, fuck off with the... Archers! More archers. More and 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 more. Oh, fuck. Why are they everywhere? Another one just spawned in. I just saw it. Fucking bullshit, dude. The RNG of like getting archers or not is just I, it, it really dramatically affects a run and it's really just the most frustrating piece of RNG. Please just fucking destroy this. Why is this abomination just useless, man? Still not managing to actually hit anything. Just moving things around. I got pushed into the water, so I couldn't dodge. We, uh, yeah, yeah. We, we do just need ancient bark to get a good yag fight, annoyingly. We got enough at least on that one. That's why it wasn't too bad. Isn't it worth lagging it at this point, Nick? For what? We, we need Ancient Bark. It halves the time of the Yag, -Yag fight, so. Uh, it's totally worth just being patient.
There's a pretty good chance that has a rune on it, so we might find out either way what's possible at this stage. Yep, it has a rune. Here we go. We're actually going to find out if this is recordable in the next few seconds. Here it is, chat. Moment of truth. It's recordable. We gotta make sure we don't fuck up and die. And we need those two totems, but it's possible. The ancient bark lets us make a bonfire. 20, like, let me think about this. 327. How much time do we actually have? Like 30 minutes. 30, 40. 3 minutes. I think we just go direct as we can and just hope we get the totems in that plains where Yag is. Definite focus time. This world record. 413 is such a crazy time to beat. We gotta gotta just focus up, try and clutch this out now, chat. No wind. That's we definitely don't want that to continue. So obviously you can still go massively wrong, but it's possible for this to be record. We have to like the big unknown is actually finding the two totems. Other than that, it's like wind and stuff. How is heart rate? Feel more nervous than you? Uh, I'd say it is, it is slightly more elevated than usual, but nothing too crazy. I can handle it. Been in this situation before. I've had many a world record. Time to just clutch another one. Let's do it, chat. I'll be fucking hyped when I, if I do get it, though. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, this wind situation really is shit. <laughs> I'm going to go diagonal a little bit so I can actually pre-break the boat at least. Really need those two totems. Gonna get a new record. How do you celebrate? Uh, sometimes I order myself some nice food. Might have a few drinks after the stream. Which records have I got? I don't know, several. I've had like something in the ballpark of over 20 pre like former records and including former and current records, it's quite a high number. Currently, 
I'm not sure what they are currently. You have to check my speedrun profile. Speedrun.com profile. Go to speedrun.com slash Valheims. Click on my name. You can see my current positions in all the leaderboards. But. I've had several former world records in the course of the history of the game. One hour stream of nothing but Floki. That would actually be kind of awesome. Nick really likes water, so I suppose he'll celebrate with a water jug. <laughs> True. I don't have all the totems yet. I need two more. This wind is a big problem, chat. to focus up it's it's got to get my game face on I, got, I can't get too carried away like the the with this wind is really like it this is could cost us world record if we get bad wind the whole way Got three out of five totems. Oh my god. Wood, resin. Don't tell me we didn't get leather. We didn't, but I have leather. Oh, well, we need to actually quickly get a bed somewhere. Reasonably safe. You want to kind of put beds at low points in general. Are you fucking serious, game? I can't believe this fucking bullshit, dude. Alright, I did it. Don't you dare destroy that bed. It's only a backup anyway. Yeah, don't start backseating just because we're close to record chat.
just be warned <laughs> already because that what it, it gets that's when it gets crit out of hand Ooh. Oh my god, the desk eaters. What the fuck? Oh. Yeah, it normally takes about 10 minutes to kill a Yag. Maybe a bit more, including setup. So we really just gotta get there. I hope we get the totems. Oh, I really need to focus now, chat. There's actually more and more Daskitos spawning in. This is unfortunate. Oh my god, now we've got multiple on us. Just gonna ignore the fact that this never used to be the case with Deskitos in the game.
Thanks so much, Cloaker, for the 50 not super chat. Thanks for supporting the content. Keeping the dream alive. Appreciate that, bud. Of course. More of him and more of him and more of him and more of him. Augie. Thanks so much for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive. work in 7 hours 30 minutes, but this is much more important. Rude. Thank you, bud. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. Don't like that. I'm not seeing any totem yet, chat. Is looking good. Oh, hard spawn. I gotta focus. Right, we need one more totem after this one. Zip. Not throw this now. <laughs> Thanks so much for spawning content. Praying for Keeping totems. the dream alive. Thanks so much, Chris. You're legend. Thanks so much for the super chat. One more. There's potential for spawns right there. There is one. Oh, man. It's obviously not an easy one to get. Let's fucking go. Come on. Go, 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 go. Fuck, we're getting so close now. This cannot fall apart. I, I, I'm, not, I'm probably not even going to read chat. I'm going to be real. I'm not going to read what you're saying. <laughs> I have to fully focus. I'll die to some growth, so it'd be... Embarrassing way for it to end. There's Yaki. Hoggy. Hi, Mom. I love you. <laughs> Thanks so much for the super chat, Matt. I'll definitely go through everyone's messages as much as I can and donos after. Right, let's not throw this. It's fucking getting close, bro. Perfect area for a setup, I'll tell you that. It ain't very flat. Oh, 
kind of a sketch area. This should be all right. No. Let's go a donation for good luck. Thanks so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. What? The setup, this isn't working, dude. so fucking sketch oh fuck don't die I need to just calm down I think I'm gonna actually even oh fucking that I'm even gonna make a hoe I think.
All right. Um. Let me get rested. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong. No! Oh, we got rested. Cool. It's possible Yag just gets stuck, just so you know. And there's nothing we can do about that. That's what happens. Come on, Yag. Come over here, bro. That area right there looks so sketch. But it's working. Oh my god, chat. I've got to read all the donos and everything afterwards. I'm in full focus mode right now. I can't believe this is happening. I just have to concentrate. If this setup fails, it might not be record. I'm not reading chat. I'm not reading any donos. I'm not doing anything. I'm sorry. I'm just that I can't. to go full focus mode like an absolute gamer Gotta do what it takes to get that world record. So I'm full focus mode. I will catch up on the chat, I promise. Thanks so much for all the support, though. Sorry, I'm not reading donos. Promise I'll read them all after. Just got to clutch this. Glad to see you spamming the chat. I can't see what you're saying. But this is history in the making. So make the most out of getting your names on the screen chat. We might never see an all bosses RSG run this fast ever again.
risking it with the weapon changeover, getting the rhythm off. If anyone new is watching, just know this is some crazy shit. I hope chat is making that clear. <laughs> I can't get too cocky though. I need to focus. This could always go tits up still. It's so funny that this is the last boss fight of the run as well because it's so like long and drawn out and you know the setup could hypothetically randomly fail. Oh my god, I think we're being hunted chat. Look, there's an event on the minimap. Yeah, I need to just concentrate. Like, there's a lot of those things that can still go wrong. Now the event won't attack your glove, but it's possible for a wolf to get in the hole and kill me. Flawless victory. Let's fucking go. Come on. Yes. It's a new world record by 10 freaking minutes. Fuck yeah. Woo. <laughs> GG's thread. Holy shit, dude. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe we actually did it. Holy shit. This was so much grinding to get this far. And let this be a lesson to everybody. Set a goal. Anything in life. Doesn't matter how hard it is. And never fucking give up. If I can do it, you can. Let's fucking go, chat. Holy shit.